hello hello i am back with another video and the purpose of this video well i want to do two things in this video one i want to talk about my hair because <laughs> i grow hair y'all <laughs> and two i want to talk about what not when not to try to manifest when not to try to create your vision board so first things first my hair is growing. I wanted to show y'all. I'm actually washing my hair today because it's getting big and I don't really like when it get big. But I wanted to show y'all the big day. <laughs> Just the big day. Bigger day. And um, what I have in my hair is, I, well, when it was clean, I washed it with my Be Cleans and Be Conditioned. That's an all-in-one product available on my website at the bottom of the screen and I put in my curl definer and it kept it in my twists for maybe it's been over a week maybe a week and a half now and every day I will use my daily moisture well not every day nope I'm lying maybe two or three times within that week and a half I use my daily moisture because I have locked in moisture in my hair from my you know shampoo and conditioner from the curl definer and so it was already locked in so i really didn't need to use the daily moisture the only two or three times i used it was when it rained when it rained outside you know and i got kind of caught in the rain in the rain you know the the um the rain water make your hair like frizzy like at the top and so because i had that look I put on my my daily moisture to get the frizz to go away so it wouldn't be frizzy. I'm just learning natural hair, y'all. I have the products. I don't comb hair. I'm new to this. So my products work. I just don't know how to comb hair. <laughs> anyway, because I don't have no daughters or nothing like that. Nobody to practice on. I guess if I had daughters, I'd be up in here. Braiding hair, combing hair, and everything. So while I'm talking about that, I want to do a measurement because I'm I have this other product called um, Be Longer and Be Lengthy. It's a male and female version of um, a growth elixir that I have. You know, one is for the beard for the men, and one is for the hair for the women. And so, cause I could leave out the men, the delicious chocolate melanated men. They they want to get that beard right. So I want to measure my hair so y'all can see i'm gonna start i'm gonna start at my eddie i got an eddie up there i'm gonna start at my little eddie so y'all can see can you see this what number we on okay yeah y'all can see the numbers so i'm pinching it right here and I'm measuring it and we're right where we at look like we're at nine let me get closer mm -hmm. we had nine I'd say nine okay so we go remember that nine inches because my hair is growing and I want to show you all today is 10 20 2020 the numbers gonna hit the night <laughs> oh I love that synchronicity and then it's 10 10 in the morning when I'm doing this video go me I'm in alignment so anyway um that's the inches nine inches and we use this here hair in the front of my head we started at my head my eddy and we ended without pulling the last string but right above the last string because you know that the little last string is longer than the other it's probably because my part crooked because like i said i don't know how to comb hair but guess what i know how to grow it i know how to shampoo it and make it look good and condition it i know how to put them herbs and them citrus fruit together in my products to heal it and open up that crown chakra i know how to do that so anyway let's move on to the video so i wanted to talk about um <laughs> i wanted to talk about when not to manifest 
when not to uh, do a vision board, when to release the resistance. And the reason why I want to talk about this is because the day before yesterday, the day before yesterday, I was out at the golf course, right? And I had, prior to getting there, I had went to this one particular place where I had been hitting the ball, I've been practicing. I had been practicing my shot and I had my, my eye on the ball and I had my form, you know, all together and I was just hitting the balls. I mean, great distance, confident, feeling good. So I'm like, okay, I want to go out, you know, I want to go out on the course. And, um, <laughs> man, I went out there. Now, it was different when I was at my little spot. My little spot that I go to was just like open area, field. There's no kind of distractions, nothing in the area. Just me, the ball, my clubs, you know, and, and just grass, you know, open field. But when I got on the course, there was like water, they had ducks, <laughs> they had bridges. They had trees, and it seemed to me like those things were distractions. I, in a physical reality, felt like Peter in the biblical text, they should have been walking on water, but he began to sink because he paid attention to the waves and the current that was around him. And this is why I want to learn the game of golf. This is why I want to master golf, because I know that golf is a spiritual thing. It's about mastering self. It's a mental game, you know? Anyway, that course got the best of me that day because I felt so frustrated with myself, so disappointed. And, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to get out here, I'm going to do good. And I, I didn't. I didn't. My instructor was telling me, well, you're really doing good. Stop beating yourself up. But I couldn't. I mean, I was trying to hit the ball, missing the ball, hitting the green. It was like, really? So we were only doing a nine. For those that don't understand golf, there's, you know, nine is half of the course. Normally they do full 18. We were only doing nine because, you know, I'm fairly new. But by the time we got to the six hole of the nine, I was like, that's it. I can't. I can't. I can't do it no more. I, I gotta go. And he's like, what? I was like, I gotta go. It's just too much going on in my head. And then how I look at energy is, is like this here. Don't fight against the current. Release it. Practice the art of allowing, you know? So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna allow <laughs> this to be the day that, you know, the course beat me i didn't beat the course today so i'm gonna take my little cart and i'm gonna roll on back on to the to the house <laughs> and i'm gonna recharge and he just said okay okay but i don't want you to start practicing being a quitter and da, da, da. i was like i'm not no quitter i know i'm not no quitter but i'm going home to 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 uh recharge i know that so i left and i was frustrated with myself and I'm saying to you all this here, to the lower version of myself, that is not the time, in my opinion, to fight against the current. When you are frustrated, when you are disappointed, uh, that wasn't the time for me to try in the midst of my disappointment because I'm at a low frequency. And I'm sharing this with you to say, that is not the time when to create on your vision board or that is not the time to manifest. So you know how some people get maybe a vision board for a house, a car, they had to grow a man or whatever and they frustrate it because they don't have it. That is not the time for you to create the vision board. The perfect time to create the vision board is a time when your frequency is at a higher place. When you are creating from frustration and disappointment or the lack thereof, what you are creating is more of that lack. 
And so that is not the time to try to manifest. Had I stayed there on that golf course and tried to manifest a, a perfect ball in the midst of my disappointment, it wouldn't have panned out that well for me. You have to pay attention to where your frequency is when you are creating. And the opposite of this is also true. When beautiful things are happening in your physical reality, that is the time to be creating. That is the perfect time when you know that you're just feeling good. Start thinking about whatever it is that you really want. That car, that house, that man or whatever. And act as if you have it in the midst of your feel good moment. The other night, for example, uh oh, my paper's floating off the table. Sorry about that. Anyway, the other night, for example, I was sitting in my bedroom and they have these little cards. <laughs> they have these little cards that I'm going to be putting in my, you know, products to tell people thank you. It's like a little thank you business card. It says, thank you for supporting my small business. And when I saw those cards, I didn't see one that didn't have the word small on there, but I got it anyway, because I, the first thing that I said, when I saw small business, I was like, but my business is not small though. And mind you, I ain't even launched nothing. <laughs> I ain't even launched a new website, but I'm already in my mind saying, ah, my business is not small <laughs> because that's a way of creating anyway i still purchased the cards though i said to myself when i was purchasing i said i'm gonna I'm purchase them cards and i'm gonna scratch out small and put big on every last one of them you know so anyway on the same cards the back of it i was writing down i appreciate you just be just be is the product line right but i signed it as if it was my name and so i kept writing i appreciate you i appreciate you i appreciate you over and over there was a pack of 100 and i wanted to get all of them written out that particular night before i went to bed my arms begin to you know get my hand began to get tired of the writing but in the midst of me writing that, my energy, my frequency increased, you know, and I began to smile and I began to envision things for my product line. That was the perfect moment. Just that small act of writing down something that was so positive. The energy from that alone was the perfect time. I could feel myself appreciating every customer. I can see myself in the warehouse shipping orders and putting the card inside of it and it gave me such a good good feeling at that pivotal moment i started to envision even more for me because i knew that my energy had increased i knew that was the perfect time for a vision board for manifestation for creating wherever you are in your journey some people are still at the writing things down part some are at the vision board some will just be are able to just think it wherever you are it's a journey it's a journey for you getting to instant manifestations and i just wanted to share that with my <clears throat> with my lower self because there were moments in my life when i would be at low frequency and i would cry or you know say well why is this happening to me and all I was doing was creating <laughs> a rut for it to happen to me again. It's almost like those uh, church people who pray and they beg Jesus to do something for them. Oh, Jesus, if you do da-da-da-da-da, I'll do da-da-da-da. Oh, please, Jesus, please. They're on a low frequency of wanting already. You see, but they're wanting in the midst of their rut. And so this is why those prayers go unanswered for them. And they don't seemingly understand why. But you have to increase the frequency first. And so for me with that day of golf that was not so good. To release the resistance of me fighting, wanting so bad to have a good game. 
I just had to walk away from it. And sometimes walking away means taking a deep breath, maybe. If you can't just leave the course like I did. Taking a deep breath can help you. Going home or getting out of that particular area can help you. Going to sleep can help you because you know when you're sleeping, you're in another realm. Even meditating to help you get into another realm. Listening to music to help you get into another realm. Laugh at yourself. I could have, <clears throat> excuse me, stayed there and maybe laughed at myself and, 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 and turned the dynamic of the game. But for me, <laughs> I had so many factors into play that in my mental, I didn't feel at that time that laughter alone was going to help me with them ducks, <laughs> with that body of water, with that bread. So, you know, I have to prepare myself better mentally before I go there, knowing that I'm going to be up against those things. But centering my mind, also knowing, okay, it's just me and the course, you know? And I'm trying to master this course. No matter what the wind is like, no matter where the ducks are, no matter the water, no matter the trees, no matter even the sun, because there was a moment where I couldn't even see the hole because the sun was blinding me. And it, it was just, it was just not the best of golfing days for me, but I came home and I recharged and I'm going out there today and I'm going to be better <laughs> and I'm going to be mentally prepared, you know, I'm going to be more mentally prepared than I was on the day before yesterday so anyway that's it that's the video i wanted to share that from my heart to yours for my reflection who may be dealing with trying to manifest or creating that vision board when you are low frequency no 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 put that board away go to sleep mm -hmm. turn on the music start dancing and this is what it means when it says let this mind be in you the renewing of this mind you know think of those things that are of love of joy of peace you know yeah it's all about a renewing of a mind because everything in this physical reality is mental all is mental so that's it that's the video i look forward to more videos with you all Check out my website because I have a lot of products <laughs> that are going to be launched. By this time, by the time you see this particular video, the website is already going to be launched. I'm doing a chain of videos before I come back. <laughs> before I come back because I want to make sure I per perfect my product. I'm trying my products out on other people and I'm doing them myself. I'm learning my natural hair. I'm learning how to go. I'm doing all kinds of things right now doing this uh, Corona virus time because it's part of the shift, you know, and I encourage you before I go to start a business, do find something that you really love to do because when you find something love to, that you love to do, you own a love frequency all day. And the universe just makes way for your, your abundance and for everything it is that you are desiring in the physical reality when you stay vibrated on that frequency versus on the frequency of a job that you might not like or of doing whatever it is that you're doing that you might not like, but you have to do maybe to pay the bills. So I encourage you to find that or start at least small steps upon looking for that. Because a lot of people just don't know. A lot of people don't know. But I encourage you to do that because the shift is happening. And so with the shift happening, and I talked about this on old videos, 
some people didn't pay attention to that, but it is happening now, and I knew it was to come, the 2020 vision. But regardless of us evolving, <laughs> I want to leave this with you. There will be some that will fall by the wayside, always, point period. There's going to always be some cotton pickers. We need the cotton pickers. Look, I got a towel sitting right here. Guess what? We needed cotton to make this towel. So it's like... <laughs> So we're going to need some cotton pickers, you know, and we're going to need some people that's going to be prosper prosperous on the other side, you know, that's going to own the plantation, so to speak. And it's going to be in the house, so to speak. And you, you choose wisely in the, your physical reality which one you want to be. But there's a shift that's going on. And within this shift, it's allowing people to become more prosperous than what they were, you know those that um that didn't have so much that were at the bottom well with the shift they 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 have an opportunity to get to the top within the shift you know those that were in the biblical text how they say the head and not the tail okay it's part of the shift baby and so you could choose to shift or choose not to shift i'm giving you tools on my channel to get you mentally prepared for the shift it's okay if you stay in 1920 if that's what you want to roll back to but some people want to evolve and no matter where we go in the physical reality there's always going to be that one lagger <laughs> that we're going to be waiting for somebody that's lagging behind the one that's going to be on the short bus just don't let it be you baby don't let you be the one on the short bus getting the short end of the stick always all is mental you can be do or have anything you want in the physical reality you just gotta want it and by wanting it you are asking the universe just by your thought of wanting it you are asking the universe for more expansion i dare you to think about something outside of your box i dare you to want something that you do not have right now in the physical reality I dare you to create something. I dare you to sell something. I dare, you, I dare you to launch something. I dare you to be excited about something so much that it will keep you, that you will eat, sleep, and breathe it. I dare you because that is the recipe for the universe making way for you. I triple, I triple, double dare ya. <laughs> This video is from my heart to yours. Be on the other side of the shift, baby. Don't get left behind. Be blessed.